A few weeks ago, Kelsey showed us Benson Boone's debut album, Fireworks and Rollerblades. Yep. A while before that, we listened to Beautiful Things, his lead single under Kelsey's recommendation, and me and Ryan were blown away. They've had some time to digest the album, yep. and now we're going to go through it track by track and then list our favorites at the end. Yep. Yeah. It starts with an intro and then leads into the song Be Someone. Promise I can be someone. Yep. And Be Someone, I love the way it starts out with like that synth pulse. Oh, yeah. It was unexpected. It really draws you in. Yeah. Totally. And I just love the visuals he paints with the lyrics there. You know, he talks about Santa Barbara, girl he's with, that's where she's from. It sets the vibe for what we're going to get. Totally. Yeah, I thought it was a great intro track as well. So slow it down. This was the second single we listened to. And again, it really caught us by surprise because of the switch up. And that's, <laughs> if I could say one thing about this album, one word would be transitions. Oh, that's, man. Epic transitions. Yeah, yeah. All over. I mean, just the highs and lows that he's able to mm -hmm. create between how passionate his singing is to the the music. Yeah. And the transition, it's just like, it just put a smile on my face every time I hear it. And you're scared, it's moving quickly. Oh, now you're crying. You're in pieces. Because the only love you've ever known is Jesus. Yeah. Kind of relationship moving too fast. Besides the, the relationship, you can also kind of relate it to his fame almost in a weird way because like, oh yeah, I, I heard that, you know, even the name of the album, Fireworks and Rollerblades, he kind of used to talk about his rapid rise uh, to fame because it feels like it's been really fast. So I'm sure there are some times where he <laughs> wants things to slow down. Mm -hmm. I know we kept making points of that and the reaction like, this guy really didn't know he could sing until like three, four I years just, ago. I'm <laughs> still like blown away by that. Baffled. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the songwriting on this whole album is just really good, especially for a debut. It's amazing, and honestly. As far as like the whole album, I'm really impressed with the cohesion, given that it is multiple producers, multiple writers. Like it really does sound very cohesive, and him, I guess you could say. Yeah, I the agree. songwriting sounds like it's coming from a seasoned writer. That's what catches me off guard so much, and especially with it being his first album. Yeah, I'm just excited to see where he goes These beautiful things that I've got. and beautiful things i mean the lead single i mean what a way to break out that powerful voice the switch up in it again dude the chorus like yeah. the, mm -hmm. oh i mean yep. just that whole thing it's just him flexing right like, <laughs> and that's the one you, you know where you told us like Oh my gosh, you just discovered his voice a couple years ago. I'm like, this, are you li Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Lies. That song, I feel like, is the reason he is where he is. Absolutely. Just because it was so dynamic. I instantly wanted to hear more. Instantly was intrigued by beautiful things. Like, I was hungry for more songs. Every, every one that we listened to, mm -hmm. and up until the album, honestly. Yep. Yeah, including Cry, which is the third single. That one, I love the whole talking to the engineer. To iconic. have that after slow it down mm -hmm. with, with like, a, you know, just transition wise, like when Cry starts, I was like, okay, this is going to be a nice ballad. Love these chords. And then <laughs> he just kicks it in. And it's just yeah. like, dude, it's badass for lack of a for better sure. word. It's just like, oh my God. No, no, no. That doesn't feel right. Maybe uh, speed it up. Yeah, I love it just because it kind of communicates oh, I'm going to be sad about this. Like, wait a minute. I'm not going to be sad about totally. this. Like, I don't care if you're crying about this. I'm getting like, out of this headspace, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, screw this song. Like, let's <laughs> switch it up. It's yeah. so awesome. Again, just powerful vocals. The filter on the drums that comes in around like 239. It's like a muted drum that it goes yep. into, like a high-pass filter. It kind of transitions into something else a little bit and has that guitar over it. It's just, I think of all the moments on the album, that might be my favorite like moment there just because I love the Sonic so that. I think I remember this was another one where you guys were like, oh, here's the ballad, yeah. here it's coming. And then it has that change up again and just fully takes off. I think it's really cool that he's able to pull off studio tricks or have like effects yeah. like that, but not be reliant on that kind of sound. I think that's another thing I really like about him is that like, it just feels very 
pure. Yeah, no, that's a very good point. It tr it can be either or, just yeah. because the songwriting and his voice is very much the yeah. core. He doesn't of it. need all that stuff, yeah. but it right. also works when he decides to use it, which is cool. I feel like he has a very clear vision of the type of music that he wants to make, mm -hmm. which is another thing that really doesn't come so easily to newcomers. Now you're in the stars. So in the stars, I believe that was a song. Kind of cried too a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha during the reaction, even though you'd heard it so many times. <laughs> I know. It was the first song I think I heard by him. That's I right, didn't when I that. didn't know it was him. I just it was served up to me and I hit add to playlist. Yeah. Because it was beautiful. just so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And I still love that line in between the heavens and the embers. Here I am alone between the heavens and the embers. But at the end there's that choir that comes in behind them and it sounds almost gospel in many ways. I'm I, such I a sucker that. for that sound. Yeah. And yeah, Benson, of course, just nailed it. Just it has a few production tricks that are really cool that I also mentioned during the reaction that make it sound drunk. There's kind of this section that happens right before the chorus comes in. Feels like, ooh. After when we do it with headphones too, I yeah. feel like that's like 10 times more. Totally. So yeah, he definitely nailed that feeling. Yeah, and there's lots of sick guitar moments in that song. Yes. All over this album really, there's a lot of cool guitar work and obviously his piano. He said he likes to be involved in as much of the production as possible. I mean, that would add to the cohesion, I think. If yeah. he really has a good vision, like you're saying, that helps for sure. It very much seems like he does. My greatest fear of all I take it as him like saying, maybe I did grow so fast and maybe all this could be taken away. Right. Like, I don't want to get so comfortable here and then it just be And also the expectations are high now yeah, because of what true. he accomplished in just this short period of time. People are like, that's they're going to expect that moving yeah. forward. Yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. He set the bar very high coming out of the gate. I don't yeah. know, that goes back to like what I said when you watch an artist grow, mm -hmm. you know, like you get to see that sort of Evolution. Uh, yeah, just growth. Like it gets better and better. But he comes out of the gate just like, "What's up, talent? <laughs> Hello, you know." <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, that's a good point. I think it's wild when you hear about s stars that maintain that fear. Like humans need that. It is. It, it is, is a drive. It is a drive. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It is a weird. Um, like it's double-sided thing. Yeah, it sucks that the drive has to come from such a negative thing. Fear right. of failure yeah. is what exactly. drives you. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. This one really gives me Beatles vibes in a lot of the production choices. There's like a vocal effect that reminds me of them. And there's a guitar that comes in around 222. It has just a tone that just makes me think Beatles oh, yeah. or that era of music. Definitely gives me it. 60s vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Total 60s vibes. Really clean, but it's got like that classic guitar tone to it as well. Yeah. Definitely Beatles vibes. And Beatles always are good vibes. <laughs> like totally. you put on the Beatles, they can literally hit any mood. So, yeah. To, yeah. to hear that influence on his songwriting is pretty cool, too. It really feels like he's on a plane leaving. There she goes. And he's looking down. Like he says looking down. And I was like, what does he mean? Why is he? And I was like, oh connected the dots he's and I talking about was... like leaving to go do his work leaving to go tour all that type mm -hmm. of stuff and having to leave his loved one or loved ones behind Hello, love. i really love the drum production on this and then the strings come in to kind of harmonize with his vocals and then you got that switch up that happens with the strings which you said sound like paradise And this is where the title comes from. Fireworks and Rollerblades. Yeah, that's really cool how you weave that in there. Oh, or, me too. Or I wonder what came first. Was the album name or did it, was it in the song? I was like, I like that. I, I think it was that. in the song. Okay. I love Ghost Town. It's just vibes, man. Good, yeah. good song. Produced by JT Daly who okay. was in Paper Route that I really yep. enjoy. And that Again. was the first song you ever wrote too. So it's a slightly different style. Yep. 
a little bit. I think it may have been the second song I ever heard, and another one where I just hit add to playlist, yeah. didn't, and then I'm like, this name looks familiar, and noticing that I have two songs, and then beautiful things came out, and it triggered those songs in my head, that name, and I was like, wow, all three songs, the only three songs I've heard by this artist, I've loved every single one of them. Love of mine. The line, no heartbeat, just this pain I'm in, really stuck out to me. You know, he's like saying, I'm dead, and it's just this pain that's yeah. left. Yeah. And we talked about cohesion and themes. I definitely get a vibe of loss or longing. A lot of times it feels like it's painted as like a relationship maybe that's ended or something that's complicated because of his fame or I, I don't know, but I just feel like you get that theme a lot throughout this album. I yeah. think it's the fear of the unknown at the, at the moment. Fear yeah. of the unknown of the success in the future and fear of the unknown of how that success could potentially change the life he has now. Every day is kind of new and scary to a new thing going on new TV shows, having to do yeah. things that just maybe a he's not. Just roller coaster, man. Yeah. Roller blades. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that would just be wild to wake up and be like, okay. Yeah. Going on <laughs> Good Morning Day. America, yeah. um, Times Square performance, yeah. flying to Denmark. Opening up for Taylor Swift. <laughs> There's no turning 80, back 80, now. 80,000 people I'm performing in front of. Like, like, like dude, <laughs> that's my Tuesday. Yeah, yeah it's going to be wild. <laughs> And I, need a friend. I really like the message in this one. I feel like a lot of people can relate to this at least some point in their life. Mm -hmm. Wanting somebody there whenever you're at your lowest. This song stood out to me really, really far when I was listening to it through the first time. I just loved that, like the calling out and just the power in his voice. I'm so close to the edge and I need Yeah, this one gets me in my feels really hard because, like you said, I feel like it's something that everybody, I don't know, can relate to and just really poignant. This one's interesting to me because it's like the verses in the beginning, like the way they sound sonically, it like sounds dark. And then as the song progresses, it picks up speed. It turns into like almost like a rock anthem mm -hmm. by the end of it. Totally. Which He's really good at anthems and ballads. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> interesting way to end the album. I feel like most albums kind of end in like a somber state or something yep. to like contemplate. This one kind of yeah. is like, I'm going on to the next step. I love it. <laughs> type feel. And then it's got the fade out at the end, like the fade outs mean it never ends. Like it yeah. just did. Now he's still going. They're still. Like in he's the over studio. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know the final lyrics, like I don't give a damn what's on news and big TV. It's almost like he gained his confidence through the album. Okay. There's that fear of loss that I was talking about, and then by the end, he comes out with a powerful, hopeful message after being dark at the beginning of the song, coming through to hopeful and being like, "Screw the haters." I yeah. like that. You yeah. know what I mean? I like that too. That is a cool way to just end on that note. Fireworks and rollerblades. I mean, yeah. I got to go put mine on. Overall, just amazing album, amazing debut from a new artist. Like, so solid. Not a miss on the entire album, in my opinion. It just feels refreshing. This, his talent. Thank you for showing us, Benson. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I'm just glad that you guys liked it as much as I did. And now it's time to reveal our favorites. I'd say number three is Friend. Again, I like the message. I like, I don't know, just song overall. Really, really Me good. Too. And then I'd have to go with Slow It Down. Okay. I don't know. I really like Beautiful Things, but I don't know. Slow It Down is better to me and for some reason. Sonically? Um, yeah. We heard Beautiful Things was so good. It was the first one. But then yeah. to hear a second song, it was equally, yeah, yeah. It's just that vibe. Bang. I'm, I'm with you I on that. respect that. Yeah. yeah. And then number one would be Forever in a Day. Okay. Solid. Yeah, her, his vocal performance on that. I mean, it's a little bit softer, more of a ballad. Mm -hmm. um, but he's just so powerful and just a great song. Number three would have to be Ghost Town, like I said. I think just because it was early Benson Boone, it was something different. Uh, number two, I'd probably have to go with Cry. That every time I hear that transition, I just mm -hmm. that just puts a big smile it's on my tasty. face. And then number one, probably beautiful things, yeah. man. Like I, that was my intro. Fell in love with it. Still yep. love it. It's a banger. Yeah, that's all I can say. So my three, starting with number three, is friend as well. Hey. I again love the message. It was my favorite of all the songs that I hadn't heard 
okay. yet. And then number two is In the Stars. Mm. I think because it was the first song so I heard and it drew me into him. You know, the emotional aspect mm. of it too. Obviously, I cried. And I've cried multiple times listening to this. And you said that one was about his grandma? Yeah, his yeah. great grandma. So my number one is Beautiful Things as well because... Uh that song get out just, Ryan. <laughs> get out bud i mean i know like you said it's generic because it's the hit song that went viral but there's a reason it went viral right. because it's amazing so overall just uh amazing album so refreshing in 2024 yeah i'm really stoked that kelsey showed us that and i will definitely continue to play it throughout the summer and i'm really excited to see what he does next yeah and Me we're too. interested to hear what your favorite songs are yeah. so make sure you share those in the comments you know, check out some of our other videos if you like this. Um, we like to react to the music and then afterward do this type of review to kind of recap it after we digested it more. Yep. So check out our reaction to Benson Boone's album. We'll leave that linked if you want to see that. Yep. Uh, also check out some of our other reactions as well. We got all different kinds of music. And catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Later. Bye. Bye.